The year was 1978 and I was living in Cowra with two children in tow. i just lost my job as a mechanic and I took up a job with a life insurance company. Unfortunately, this afforded me too much free time, which I spent at the club, feeding the poker machines with company money. I cleared the debt each month with money borrowed from family, friends and two additional credit cards that my wife knew nothing about. The company eventually dismissed me. My wife, after a long silence and deep discussion, forgave me, which allowed us to move forward as a family. I took a job as a farmhand and this job came with a house, which was great. So we were able to sell our home, clear the debt and move out to the farm. My life now back on track, we added two children to the fold. However, one day while mustering cattle, I was stung by a bee and this caused a severe allergic reaction. My boss rushed me into town 20 kilometres and the doctor administered some adrenaline, which saved my life and that just in the nick of time. It was around this time that I believe God started to get my attention. My co-worker Gary began to ask the boss question about passages in the Bible to which he was very accommodating with answers. I was amazed that this Christian man, my boss, who was a millionaire, was so persuaded, so absolutely convinced that these passages were true. This impacted me in a profound way and began setting me up to receive the message that God had for me. My boss, John, persuaded me to watch a documentary up at his home about the second coming of Christ. This put a fear of hell into me and I didn't like the idea of no second chance. It bothered me so much that Kay and I discussed putting the children into Sunday school or taking the kids to a Sunday school so that they could learn the ways of God and eventually come to their own conclusions. It was a short time later that Kay and I gave our lives to Jesus at a home church meeting. And now with five children and many years later, I can testify that God has never deserted me, he's never failed me, he has healed me from chronic sleep apnea, from bee sting allergies, from near heart attack slash stroke, and has been an ever present help in time of need. He has shown me how to really love, and I no longer fear because I know who holds my future. I just love him, and I am so grateful that he delivered his message to me that he loves me and that unconditionally.